Hey guys, Uncle Ray. Welcome to another episode of the Crypto Bellwether. Now, first thing I got to tell you, this is not clickbait. Someone came out today and said that XRP is going to $72. Not only that, uh, I've heard $18,000. I've heard $35,000. I've even heard $55,000. Now, I can't tell you any way, shape, or form or any way that it's, abs that it's possible for XRP to get to $72. I can't tell you how it's going to get to $25. I can tell you how it's going to take out its old high, probably get somewhere around $5. I can even justify $10. But I've got a few questions and I'm very serious. I wish someone could stop being dogmatic about it and have a, a real answer for me. And here's my question. Why would outside of speculation and like the uh, influencers and the XRP army and all the positive stuff that comes out of Ripple that people think is the same correlation as XRP outside of the speculation? Why possibly would XRP go up? Let's think about it. I'm going to give you an example to use V chain. To, to run things on VeChain, every customer has to buy VeChain in the open market 100% of the time. I just did a video on Constellation Dow, which, by the way, you should check out. But 100% of the customers now and in the future, if they want to do anything on the Constellation uh, protocol, they have to go into the open market and buy the token. Now, in XRP, you don't have to own the token to use everything, to use every product that Ripple has. Now, not only that, let's think about something, guys. I used to work for Bear Stearns, which at the time was as big as Goldman Sachs and JP Morgan. It was a world beating bank. Uh, now, uh, Bank of America will never hold XRP. Why would they? Some people say it's going to be a store of value. Look at the chart for the last 10 years. And I'm not saying that to insult it, guys. I'm just saying it as a fact. A bank is using Ripple because it is better technology. It's bigger, better, faster, and a heck of a lot cheaper. However, it's not cheap if you have to own it and it's volatile. So imagine if uh, Bank of America last year when they partnered with uh, Ripple, Ripple, not XRP, if they would have stacked those tokens and went and bought $100 million to use for their uh, payments, they would have lost so much money that even if payments were free for the next 100 years, they wouldn't get that lost money back. So banks will never buy XRP, period. That's a fact. Now, if you don't think I'm right, please explain it to me with facts that I can verify. But you can't do it, guys. And I say that with love. I own XRP. I love Ripple, but I'm not happy with the way the tokens are set up. Now, here's, here's my point. Ripple buys XRP, puts it in, in a wallet, and then it loans it to Bank of America. So every time it does a transaction, they pull it in, pull it out. So the XRP token goes a long way because at three seconds, let's just say it's $1,000, you can use $1,000 worth of Ripple. Uh, I, I haven't done the math, whatever three seconds goes into 24 hours. So you can use it over and over and over and over. But then here's the worst part. This is what I don't like. And I wish someone could explain it to me because there are guys out there shilling XRP and young guys, in my opinion, that don't understand how things work are stacking this token when they should be putting it in something else. Now, I do believe they should be stacking it if they're looking for a short term trade. Once the SEC rules, 
I think that's a hell of a trade. But a lot of people are saying it's going to be life changing, generational wealth. It's going to 50,000. Don't even think about selling after the uh, uh, SEC ruling. Guys, and this is not financial advice. Do with it what you want. But listen to me. When Bank of America makes a transaction, they basically borrow the money for three seconds. They borrow XRP for three seconds from Ripple, and Ripple invoices them. That's why Ripple is record-setting profits. It makes a killing why the XRP token is going down. There is no reason outside of absolute speculation for XRP token to ever rally. And the worst part, guys, if it ever does rally, uh, Ripple owns and dumps or can dump, has the option to dump a, thou, a, a billion tokens a month for like the next five and a half years. So guys, someone explain to me why XRP token should rally. Don't talk about Ripple because Ripple is going to be one of the biggest IPOs in history, if you ask me. I love everything about Ripple, but as far as Ripple relates to making the XRP holders money, they're wrong. They did not set it up to benefit us. They 100% set it up to benefit Ripple. And I've asked this question over and over and over to a lot of intelligent people, and not one person has told me why. They've told me I was an idiot, and they told me I don't understand things, which I've laid out a case, but no one can explain it to me, including the guy in that video that you see on the screen. You know what he used to justify? He used technical analysis. He used a damn chart. Are you kidding me? Anyway, guys, I'm sorry that uh, this probably wasn't the video that you wanted. However, I will never lie to you. I'm non-biased. And guys, I feel it in my bones. Look, history is going to make me a fool or a lot of other people a fool. And I'm willing to take that risk because I got facts and 30 years of knowledge of understanding how things work in the financial world. Uh, and everything that I understand about crypto and what moves a token outside of pure speculation is that Ripple is set up to make all the profit, guys. And I say that with love. Please tell me where I'm wrong. Anyway, guys, I want you to think about it. If the XRP token, if, you, if Bank of America had to buy that XRP token, to do a transaction, it would be the best, best tow. It would be everything people think it is. But it doesn't have that vehicle, guys. It just isn't set up that way. Anyway, guys, I say that with love. Please, if you haven't subscribed, do so. Hit that like button. Share this. If you know someone on the insider, you know someone that's really smart, maybe a developer, someone that has laid out a protocol that can under make me understand why I'm wrong. I'm all ears, guys. I'll correct it in another video in a heartbeat. I wish I was wrong. Now, that being said, and this is not financial advice. Guys, this is a no-brainer. A no-brainer. Stack some money you can afford to lose because when the regulation comes out and if uh, XRP wins, I think it's a no-brainer. It's going to take out its old high. It might run to $5. Then it'll be over. But there's a chance it gets so crazy, let's say it runs to 10. But no matter what, we know uh, that it, any pump is not going to be maintained. It's not going to happen, guys. Anyway, that's all I got for you. Hit that like button and come back and be part of this community. Take care, guys.